We at VacAlert thank you for your purchase of the VacAlert Safety Vacuum Release System and your concern for increased child safety. Ah, the sounds of summer. Fun and games in and around the swimming pool. What could be more wholesome than that? And hey, as long as there's a qualified lifeguard or responsible adult on duty, and the children mind the basic rules of water safety, there's nothing to worry about, right? Not true. There's an invisible predator in nearly every spa, wading, and swimming pool in every state in the country. If ignored and not guarded against, it can prey on swimmers of all ages. It's the vacuum created by the pump at the pool drain grate. Innocent looking, isn't it? Yet every year in the U.S., this seemingly harmless feature is the cause of many deaths and numerous serious injuries due to entrapment or evisceration, especially in cases where the grate has come loose and is missing. When a swimmer gets close to this exposed opening, the suction can pull hair, arms, legs, and other parts of the body into the drain with enough force to make escape all but impossible, causing the swimmer to drown. There are also an alarming number of cases where children who've sat on this opening have lost some or all of their intestinal tract, resulting in death or a life of pain and suffering. Anyone who owns a pool or spa should be aware of this terrible threat and take steps to guard against it. Commercial enterprises that offer swimming or spa facilities to their guests are also highly susceptible to lawsuits and therefore have an additional incentive to correct the problem. So what can be done to tame this invisible predator? When you install the VacAlert Safety Vacuum Release System, or SVRS, and anti-entrapment drain covers, you're providing two layers of protection against potentially dangerous entrapment situations. Suction forces requiring over 400 pounds of pull to free a victim are created when a main drain is blocked in a pool or spa. The VacAlert SVRS works in the blink of an eye, relieving this dangerous pump suction force. Though the SVRS is easily installed, we at VacAlert highly recommend that it be installed by a licensed pool service company. You won't need any special tools to install or test the VacAlert SVRS. In fact, this is all you'll need. Begin by determining the number of pumps and suction lines to be protected. You'll need to install a separate unit for each pump. A suction line is the pipe that draws water from your pool or spa, returning it to your pump. If your pool has more than one pump, you'll have to install a separate unit for each pump. Suction lines draw the water from either a main drain or sidewall port, such as a vacuum line. Determine the size of the piping used in your pool or spa. The most common are one and a half, two and three inch piping. Next, turn off all pump motors and choose a location for installation. It should be, for single pump and main drain line systems, mount the SVRS directly on the main drain line prior to the main drain line isolation valve. For single pump combination pool and spa main drain line systems, mount the SVRS on the common drain suction line leading to the pump. A level section of pipe 6 to 12 inches long away from all other valves or high traffic areas. As close to the pump as possible, but no more than five feet from the pump itself. The SVRS can face any direction, but it must always be installed vertically and level. The SVRS mounts on a standard T-fitting atop a six inch piece of inch and a half PVC pipe. If your piping is larger than one and a half inches, a reducer bushing may be installed. A test valve may also be installed in the drain line between the SVRS and main drain. The SVRS unit is designed to operate at a maximum running vacuum level of 18 inches. For this reason, we recommend that the SVRS unit be first dry mounted to take a system vacuum reading. Dry mounting is done by carefully Teflon taping the top end of the 6 inch pipe stub and placing the SVRS unit atop the PVC pipe. 
Once this is done, close all skimmer and vacuum port lines, restart the pump, and allow the system to reach full prime. Check to see that the running vacuum level on the unit gauge is below 18 inches. If the SVRS is leaking air through the dark gray end, remove the vent screen and place a plastic bag over the vent hole to seal off the SVRS unit. Let the pump fully prime and check the running vacuum level. If the running vacuum level exceeds 18 inches, throttle the return side of the pump to produce a running vacuum level of less than 18 inches. With the system now operating at proper and safe vacuum level, install the SVRS unit by first shutting off the system. Remove the SVRS and the Teflon tape. Clean the area and glue the SVRS to the top of the PVC pipe. Now open all valves. Turn on the pump and wait for the system to reach full prime. Then check for and repair any piping air leaks at the installation point. Close off all skimmers and vacuum ports so the full suction is directed to the main drain. Check the amount of vacuum displayed on the vacuum gauge on your SVRS. All SVRS units come factory set for readings of 10 inches or less. With the vent screen removed from the SVRS, place a plastic bag over the vent hole. If the plastic draws in, this indicates an air leak. To eliminate it, you must turn off the pump. Using a screwdriver, push in the piston until you hear it lock in place. Remove the security cap with a special tool supplied with your unit. Turn the adjustment screw clockwise three full turns to increase the spring tension. Release the lockout mechanism, restart the pump, and recheck for the air leak. If air continues to leak, repeat these steps in increments of three full clockwise turns of the adjustment screw until there is no more leak. Be careful not to over calibrate the unit as this may delay valve reaction time. Once the unit has been calibrated for running vacuum levels, turn off the pump for one minute and restart the pump to make sure the SVRS is calibrated for pump startup. Make any final adjustments to the adjustment screw to ensure the SVRS does not react to pump startup. After final SVRS calibration, replace the security cap and the vent screen. Store the special tool for future use. The VacAlert SVRS unit is now ready for testing. With the pump turned on and fully primed, cover the main drain with a pole mounted test mat or close the fast acting test valve installed between the SVRS and the main drain. This action simulates just what would happen in the case of a limb or body entrapment. Notice how quickly the SVRS fires. The piston locks open and the SVRS vacuum gauge reads a near zero level of vacuum. After each firing, the valve is easily reset by lightly pressing down the reset lever. We recommend this step be completed three times to ensure proper installation. As was said earlier, SVRS installation will need to be repeated for each separate pumping system. Remove the registration information from the box and supply the following information. Address of installation. Serial number on the SVRS unit installed. Installer's name and AST number if applicable. Then review the unit's operation and service requirement sheet with the pool owner. Thank you for your purchase of the VacAlert Safety Vacuum Release System. By installing the SVRS along with ANSI A112 approved drain covers, you've provided two layers of protection against injuries caused by suction entrapment. It's now safer to go back into the water.